Welcome back to Uber Earth. This is Jackson Dynamite, and um, here we are. Lots to talk about. Right now, though, I'm drinking some water. I know what you're saying. Hey, man, water? Yeah, uh, but I, I am drinking it out of a mighty big pint bottle. It's actually a Russian uh, beer bottle, Russian beer called Baltica, which I enjoy sometimes. This is a mighty big glass of water. So this is the train station at the RCI. What do you guys think? We started it last time. Those are our friends in here, going in and out of their doors. I had, I had to block them off. So they didn't get all weird. Uh -huh. We're gonna head back into the Dynamiteville because um, when I get there, we're gonna we're gonna construct a little park with a plaque, and I'm gonna tell you about that when we get there. But this is the train station. This is gonna be pretty awesome. So what you're seeing here, straight up into the sky with a glass dome roof, and then we'll start um, putting some benches and things in here. And down here, we're probably gonna make the stairs. Like we talked about last time, they're gonna go down. We can make a little rec center. There's a place for the the cured zombies to relax and get used to their you know their new their new lives as well cured zombies. So this is gonna be a lot of work busting out. But the, as you can see, the sky is the sky is right there. We're almost there. So uh, and so this is gonna be the rail line, one single rail line leaving. The train station. We might eventually. Um, I guess it's it's prep that you could do one that way, one that way, maybe. We'll see. Right now, I'm just gonna do what. I have a hard time getting the stuff done that we gotta get done. So we're gonna take this puppy back, all the way back. So this is the rail line. I'm not sure if you saw the rest of it, but it's gonna come up here, blasting out of the mountain. And then we're gonna go this way, and this is gonna head us all the way back to Dynamiteville. <laughs> so, are you folks out there, you being men and women of do, trying to get things done? I am trying to get things done. Uh, new endeavor. This is gonna be the the weird one. Uh, I've been sleeping on the floor for about a week and a half, two weeks now. Well, probably about a week and a half. Um. For many reasons, which I probably will go into in more detail in a later chapisode. So you can throw some throw some comments down there to remind me maybe in some other chapisodes. But uh, I'm actually getting, believe it or not, the same amount of sleep. I feel less sore when I get up in the morning. I actually feel like I have more energy. Uh, and it's been refreshing for me to do it, so... Now, do you put that under being a man of do category? Well, it's 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 challenging myself, so I am doing something. I'm I'm pushing myself to give up luxuries or give up things that are of comfort to me, and I think that can mold you and make you a whoa a better person. It can oh, a bit a bit a lot of call. Okay, focus. Focus, JD. Focus. So um, that's been awesome, and I. So it's basically right now. I'm, there's a rug on the floor, <clears throat> and then I sleep on top of a sleeping bag, and and I have my pillow. But that's been something I've been doing. The uh, one of the other big things too is this uh, this deal I've made with myself, which we're gonna go and build a little park and a plaque to uh, kind of commemorate this deal, which I'll explain to you in details when we get down there. This, so this is the rail line. This is going to be the rail line. It's going to be busted out just like, just like the rest of the rails. All this will be that nether brick, which I like, I like the fact that it's so easy to get so much of it. The nether's crazy, crazy, crazy a lot of stuff. <laughs> What do you got? Anything to take with me? I probably don't need all this coal, right? Probably could take the... No, I'll leave the iron. Alright, and this is gonna burn. 
Orange. Yellow line. So let's head up here. <sighs> Dynamite Bill. Yeah. So there we have it. Yeah, I was playing the other day and uh, people in my family were like, what is that ugly plant you have planted? Well then. Well then. Bed and breakfast. If you get, I don't know, sure how much we've seen more. Hey, Poochie. More recently, but this is the the bed, uh, the bed and breakfast. Got beds in all the rooms. I think we've updated you guys about this, but it's pretty cool. We got to get that bad boy finished, though. Yes, we do. Let's close this up. My thought was a park like over here. Let's check down this tree and then I'll start going into detail with you about this. So, uh, the other thing that's going to pop up in this episode is uh, the second part of the, well, the last part, excuse me, the last part of the beer making process. Uh, we have begun to bottle, we, well, we began to bottle, as you'll see in pictures, but we bottled the beer. Um, that was about a week ago so what you're gonna see now is the bottling and then not the upcoming Wednesday which in record time might be tomorrow uh, a week from now the that beer will be ready to go in the fridge and to be consumed um, but well, that is so strange but part of what we're doing here is I was thinking to myself, and I t actually, yeah, no, I told, um, we talked about it, actually, I think when we were first building the bed and breakfast, about this concept of only drinking home-brewed beer. So, you can't, you can't, um, you can't buy beer. You can only brew beer and drink the beer that you brew. So, I've been thinking a lot more about it, and I have committed. We are going to do that. Uh, so we're gonna, there's some terms. There's some terms to go over. Mighty good terms we need to go over, dear boy. Mighty good terms. Ah, to can some. So let's put this stuff down here. What's that stuff doing there? I guess I'll get all this stuff out of here. I really just need some dirt. And then I might need stone. I do need signs. So that we'll need some wood, which you got there. We got this. We can get signs out of that. Let's see here. Boom, boom. Whoa, nice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, nice, cool breeze coming in. Awesome. Today was one of those days. It started off super thunder, lightning, rain. Nothing fun. I mean, I like that stuff, but when you're... Trying to get the kids to go to the zoo. It's not very zoo friendly. You get there and you're looking around in the pouring rain and the lightning and thunder and the animals are all inside going, Why are these crazy humans here trying to check us out in the rain? Aren't they smart enough to know that it's raining? And to which your reply is, Every animal looked good with a tan. Well, anyway. out of here. So, we're going to go down here and start crafting this park. So I figure we're going to have, park might go down here. We'll have, um, that was pretty, pretty fast going down. So, what we've, um, got to figure out how we're going to do this. I need a place to put Good place to put the the park sign. But once we figure this out, so what we just ah, going back to it here. So the contract, we're gonna do a contract, a one year contract that in one year I can only drink home brewed beer. I cannot um, buy a beer like at the grocery store. 
So if, I, if I'm looking to have a, a beer, I have to brew the beer myself. And I, I've, I've wanted to do it because I feel like the discipline of having to make it will help me be a better person. Form in me, clouds, yeah, it looks cool. Will form in me um, more maturity and appreciation for the craft um, and for the beverage. And it'll actually save me money. It will teach me a hobby. So I'll actually become good at it over time, you would hope, <laughs> or maybe, or maybe not. But uh, that'll be seen uh, very shortly, in about a week. And uh, it'll be it'll be really cool to know that everything that that's coming out of my house is something I'm making myself beer wise. I think that's it's just kind of a cool thing, and it pushes the boundaries of the norm. Because most people wouldn't do that. Most people just go to the store and buy their beer or hang out at, at pubs all the time. And I think that's part of our mission statement. And, you know, when you and I are trying to be people to do and get things done and, and be better people, for me, part of that is, you know, getting better at things. And, um, and even though some of you might be like, well, I, I'm already this. I don't need to change. I don't need to be a better per I don't need to do anything different. I think we all need to change. I think there's a point where you can say, um, I'm good at this, but then you can always get better. Or you can say, I think all of us can be more patient. So I think what I've found is up until I've started making this series to make me think about it more, I haven't really spent the time to think about ways to enhance or improve on things that I want to improve on. So you say, oh, it'd be nice to be more patient. But then you never do anything to challenge yourself to be more patient. It's just kind of like a pipe dream, but you never do anything about it. And that's kind of what this uh, is going to be about. This is more of a, I want to make myself a better person. I want to have, not that I drink a lot of beer, but I want to drink less beer. I want to save money. I want to learn a craft or learn a hobby. Um, and you roll all these things into one, it just makes sense It makes sense to me. And I start thinking long-term, it'd be really interesting to you know, even have my kids grow up in a, in a house where, you know, like, hey, Dad, Dad brewed his own beer. You know, he didn't go to the store to buy beer. It's, if he wants to have drink a beer, he'll have to make more. And I think that's kind of a fun idea, and we're going to sign a contract for a year and do it for a year. My own personal contract with myself. And you can hold me accountable. Which is great. That's why, I, that's why I'm doing this series. So um, this is going to be our little area where you're going to be able to uh, come down here. Should I flower pot this in maybe? Make some flower pots over here. I'm going to come down over here. And we should probably get more of this. Uh, yeah, we should. Stone. Get out of here. Oh, they're right there now. Boom. One, do, 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 do. That tree over in the corner left of my screen keeps popping up. I'll have to go pay that tree a visit. It's it's one of those funny um, Minecraft things where if you if you look at something on the if you don't if you look straight on you can't really see anything, but if you kind of look at the corner as you're moving, things render. It's pretty neat. But you gotta make sure. And we got. So this will be a, you know, we'll maybe make this go down to the the habitat. Boom, boom. Maybe we'll do that. We'll figure it out. Let's see here. Nope. And we'll do this here. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Maybe this would be a... Maybe we can actually put like a bench over here. We'll figure it out. 
it'll all come together. It'll all come together, Marge. Um, and then over here, this will be like our little area where we'll make our our plaque. We have gravel. Gravel might do it for us. Let's see. Uh, we'll probably want to put gravel around it. Uh, like walk up to it. Hmm. There you go, gravel. And maybe we'll put like a bench. Put a bench over there and maybe like a bench there. Or something. Maybe. But then this is going to be, let's see, do I have any sticks, fence, what do we got? Fence posts? No. Hmm. Cobblestone. This is where we get started. This is where we gotta get fancy. This is where we gotta get fancy. And what would the walkin say? He'd say, "Fanciness is for losers. Don't be fancy. Just do what you wanna do. Don't be weird. It just get it done." Oh, you're being weird now. You you're just being. Oh, now you're weird. Well, I, ha I have it up here, don't I? Oh, yep. There they are. Let's see if we can do... Get this out of here. And we get this. Let's see. So if I put that there, and I put that there. I want this. I want that a little cobblestone, or do I want it to be like a stone. Yeah, maybe it should be in stone, right? Stone. Like this. I'm not sure how the how, how the rules are gonna. Bam! Well, that's that's interesting. We want um. Maybe okay, let's get rid of the let's get rid of the gravel for now. Maybe what we'll do is we'll put like a stone pillar there and like a stone pillar there. Nope. Not what I'm looking for. Nice try, stone pillar. But it's not what I'm looking for. Gosh. Jeepers, Michael. All right, and then we go. Yapaka, yapaka, Maybe not. Maybe I'll do this. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll get this out of here. What am I trying to do here? Am I trying to make like a a roofed-in area? I like that. I've never used a pillar on top of the fence post before, but consider it done. Consider that done. Maybe I like that. Boom. This is the part about uh, crafting. We'll put this. No. Thanks, though. Thanks for making cobblestone. Is that... More of what we're looking for. Hmm. Well then. Well, well. I'm not sure. Let's get this up here. This is going to be boom, boom. And then maybe we'll put like, uh... We'll figure it out. This is... We're going to do it. Beer rules. The beer. Contract. Okay. So this is the beer contract. And I've got only two torches. Always burning. So, here's what we've decided. 
Rule one. Or we do this, we do one. Uh, only drink home brew, home brew beer. Only drink home brew beer. Two. Unless uh, other beer is okay, so you only drink homebrew beer unless other beer is brought by friends, and with that, uh, I can't ask them to bring it. Beer, so you like a maybe we should have like a two A. I can't ask them. Okay, and then three, the final rule. Um, I so I can't unless they the other people so only drink homebrew beer unless other people brought it. Um. Unless I'm out, out at um, pub, etc. Purchase beer. So there's the rules. So you can only drink homebrew beer. It's Mike. This is the contract. If, and if you're of age, you, you can do it with me here. Oh, that means you gotta start brewing. Only drink homebrew beer. Unless the beer is brought by friends, which, to A, I can't ask them to bring it. So you can't have, hey, come over this weekend, and oh, by the way, bring a six pack. You, know, you can't do that. It has to be like, oh, you know, you know, you, I got a couple homebrews if you want some. Um, anything else that you need, you know, bring it. You just gotta be vague and. Try not to play it up and and mention like I can. Uh, you can't do stuff like, well, you know, we can only have one or two of my homebrews. So if you're like thirsty, it's my sex time. Uh, rule number three is unless I'm out at a restaurant. So if I go out at a restaurant or meet people after work, then I'm free to buy a pint or two pints of beer there. People can buy beer. That that's all fine. The main purpose is here at the house. Uh, cat the, the social drinking, the casual drink I do at the house, I can only do a homebrew beer, and that's part of it. Which, in turn, and there's our beer contract, and then right here, oh, and then right here, what's today is uh, May 13th, 2014. Maybe that's where I'll sign my name. There we go. So that's it. One year. That's probably I should put that here. Let me do that. But one year. No, oh, no. One. One year contract. And then May 13th. And then, and there we go. So there you have it, the beer contract. Only drink homebrew beer unless it's brought by friends, but I can't ask them to bring it unless I'm out at a pub, etc. And then I can purchase some. That's fine. But the main part is this one right here. I'm brewing homebrew. So with that said, I have already purchased two more beer kits. And uh, next, I believe, Monday... Next Monday, I will be starting the next the next batch. Good night. So that's um that was pretty much my agenda today. We've got to make the park look pretty at some point, but that gets the the point across. We got to talk about that. We talked about this. Um, beer, yeah, beer contract, bottled beer, yeah. So. 
Hopefully during the, the chat episode you enjoy the pictures of the bottling process. Um, some of them a little wacky. Uh, my kids took the cameras over because I was focused on getting them bottled. But And then uh, we've got to come up with some other, um, some other projects that we can do that can get you me doing newer things out of my comfort zone. But that'll be it for today. I appreciate you watching uh, another episode of the Let's Play Minecraft on Uber Earth with Jackson Dynamite. And if you have any uh, questions, if you have any comments, throw them down there. Subscribe, invite your friends. Just a Let's Play series to help us be better people. So we'll see you next time, and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.